Hard work is one of the things people like doing the least, but it gets you the furthest. It gets you to the places you want to be. Doing the things that other people don't like to do gets you to where you want to be, okay? When you decide in your mind, this isn't just for wrestling, when you decide in your mind like a goal you want to accomplish, it can be anything. It can be anything. If you head in that direction every single day and you do the things that other people aren't willing to do, you push yourself harder than other people are willing to push themselves. You, you have to be mentally tough to do this, but it is completely possible. You will achieve your goals. Okay, for example, I have some goals for this YouTube channel. And like, they're super simple. I might not accomplish them all, but I'm running in that direction as fast as I can, as hard as I can. And they start right here. At 10K, I wanna start vlogging and my MMA training, okay? So I've been boxing since sixth grade, jiu-jitsu since seventh grade, wrestling since ninth grade. Um, I did kickboxing in eighth grade, but like I've always been doing like some sort of fighting sport. So I wanna get into training daily, twice daily for like multiple hours. I wanna vlog all my stuff and I wanna put it out to you guys. All right, I'm still gonna make these videos. I'm still gonna make my match review. All my normal stuff, but at 10,000 subscribers, that's a go that's something I want to do. Okay. Next, at 50k, I want to start a weekly podcast. I want to have like wrestlers come in from wherever, uh, college wrestlers, Olympic wrestlers, MMA fighters. It doesn't matter. We can talk about whatever. But I want to have a weekly podcast, like just to try and grow the sport and try and like legitimize me and like the sport of wrestling more because right now it's a dying sport. We all know that. Like less and less kids sign up every single year. So hopefully a podcast can a podcast combined with the vlogging can help grow the sport a little bit. Right, I can, I can reach a broader audience than just this specific wrestling talk. At 100K, I wanna sign up for my first MMA fight, okay? I wanna vlog all my training up until my MMA fight, vlog my camp, and then fight, all right? And I plan on winning. I plan on training hard and winning my fight, all right? And then at 500K, I wanna start a free wrestling club. I wanna get a club either here or maybe I'll relocate to somewhere in altitude, I don't know. But at 500,000 subscribers, my goal is to rent out a space, be the head coach, let kids come in from whenever they want, they have to sign a release, and I will live stream the practice so that you guys, the people who don't have a second practice, can follow along. If you guys have a friend or something, or there'll be like single person drills, and you guys can just follow along with it, you know what I mean? If you want that extra practice, because I know it's really hard to find a wrestling gym and to find a, a second practice for a lot of people, especially in the more rural areas. So I think that would be huge. That would help the sport grow, that would help me grow. I can make money off the videos and donations, and that would like, like the whole, the whole club would be supported from donations, buying my merch, just, and it would just be producing content, right? It, like, I'd be giving you guys something for free and then you guys choose to donate, hopefully. And then at a million, I hope that I can kinda like what Jake Paul did, but not really. I wanna contract like college and Olympic wrestlers to come to my gym, live in like the area and like just train with me and be in my podcast and be in my vlogs and coach the kids. And I think that would be a huge asset if I could get like some really, really high quality assistant coaches that would like improve the video a lot, but they cost a lot of money, okay? And then I have these overarching goals. I have these goals that I hope to achieve like at some point in my life by doing these things, I hope I also accomplish these goals. The first two is win a UFC title, okay? This may seem a little far-fetched, but to anyone who's willing to work harder than everyone else, this is attainable, okay? And I think that I'm willing to work harder than anyone else. I wanna make the entire sport of wrestling grow. I wanna have new kids signing up every single day. I, wanna, I want it to be bigger than football, okay? I, I think wrestling's great, and if we could monetize it and make it a huge sport, that'd be awesome. And then my last goal is to beat T-Series, of course. <laughs> Gotta beat T-Series. But with hard work and just like running in the same direction, you know what I mean? Making these videos, doing like, and it takes a lot of hard work. It didn't just start with me making these videos. I was wrestling for years. I was training for years. I learned how to use Photoshop. I learned how to use a camera. I learned how to record myself. I learned how to use SEO. Like this takes a lot of work. This takes a lot of things. Like there's a lot of moving parts for me to get all this done, but I'm trying to do it, okay? I'm trying to provide this to you guys like for free.
So if you guys can like and share my content, that'd be dope. But let me show you guys really quick. Now this whole thing was brought up because I was watching Drama Alert and I saw something kind of funny that reminded me of this. But basically, there's this girl from my high school, okay? I met her in middle school. I met her, like she came from a private school and she joined my middle school. And like, I tried to be nice to her and let her sit at my table when I was in like seventh or eighth grade. And the first day, the first time I let her sit with me, she, she was like, she took goldfish and started like throwing them at all of us, like my whole table. And there was like a ton of goldfish on the floor, like a ton of goldfish. She had like two bags, threw them all on the floor. And then the assistant principal walks by, literally walks by this big lesbian lady, big tough lesbian lady walks up who threw all the fish on the floor. And she's asking Jesse, she's asking the girl and she points to me. She points to me and I'm like, what? I'm like, no, I'm like, you gotta be, you gotta be kidding me. You have to be kidding me. My lesbian assistant principal makes me go get the broom and makes me sweep it all up. And I am so, I am like boiling blood right now. I am super heated right now, right? I'm sweeping up these fish. And I'm like, Jesse, you fucking stupid whore bag. I was pretty rough. I was like, I hope you die. <laughs> but this girl, like this girl, my first like actual interaction with her, I had class with her all throughout middle school and high school. And like, I don't know her well, I never chilled with her, but she was always the same. She was always super entitled, super like, she thought she deserved the whole world. She never worked, she never did her work in class, always tried to copy off other people. And the whole time she was spitting this narrative of she wants to be famous, she wants to be like the Kardashians. Like this is her goal, this is her end goal. But this girl has done nothing to deserve fame. I mean, literally nothing to deserve fame. And because of that, she is like she's going insane trying to become famous. I don't know if you guys know who Ice Poseidon is, but he's like a popular streamer. He was on Twitch and she got fucked by his like black dildo robot on stream for fame, like to try and get famous. This is a level of pathetic you guys never want to reach. Like I'm warning all of you, just work. Just work because this like we can all sit back and laugh at this girl because she doesn't want to work She wants things handed to her. She wants to use her butthole to try and get subscribers All right, that's not how it works. That's not how it works. It's hard to do this. She has 400 more subscribers than me I'm not salty. I have a way better like to dislike ratio than her, but she got it all from like no work Which is fine. It's fine. But like she looks like a clown she looks like literally a clown and she can flip this at any moment she can change this at any moment don't think i'm talking shit because like th like that's not what i usually do this is just like like i saw this on drama alert and i was like i gotta talk about this because this is literally tragic this is tragic this girl is trying so hard to be famous she's driving herself insane dude insane making a fool of herself on youtube like it really is pathetic like just work just do the th just Take the steps in order to do what you want. If I was a girl, I would have taken over the world by now. <laughs> if I had tits, I would have taken over the whole fucking world by now. So let's watch some of her highlights. Come with me, venture with me. Look, this is her channel. Okay, look, you see right here? 15 likes, 20 dislikes. She just posted this like a couple hours ago. Five likes, eight dislikes. I'm back. I'm in the elevator right now. My other phone has to charge before I put it on Twitter. Go again. So yeah, like I said, I'm on the Hollywood Boulevard, like fucking around or whatever. If I see you, if I ever see you, I will spit on you. Okay. Thank you. So I'm gonna charge this, and then I'm gonna go back out there. Hey, where are you from? From England. You're from England. Is England your city? Well, Leicester's my city in England, yeah. Oh, cool. Awesome. So, yeah. You don't want to be on stuff like that, okay? Well, guys, my phone charge. I got what I wanted at the W. I charged my phone. Ugly, so. Work. I don't know why they're not working at the moment. I'm on YouTube. I only have like 100 people on, but that's because my phone isn't charged. I'm just going to post that I'm online and then I'm going to walk around. Just trying to get famous. But if you're trying to get famous for the wrong reason, then like no one's going to like you. If you want to be an actor, then you better be going to acting school and acting classes every single day. You better be getting into as many plays as you can, auditioning for every single role you can. If you want to be a musician, you better be playing that goddamn instrument all day, <laughs> all day for years, for years. If you want people to pay, 
to watch you do something, you better be fucking good, all right? You can't just be some clown and expect people to like you, right? Everyone has to work. Okay, my rant's over. If you guys like that video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Help me grow, help me achieve my goals. This is important to me. I'm gonna to try to do this as soon as possible. But until next time, the grind continues. But I'll see you guys, peace.